Hey, it's Maureen Legas with your 21 Days 2016 Tech Tidbit. It's day five, and we're going to talk again about your KW websites. This time, we're going to be discussing your website tabs and how to make sure they're nesting properly and that your main homepage of your website looks attractive and uh, not complicated for the user. As we mentioned yesterday, when you sign into your MyKW, if you get this message, click Do Not Show and click Close because we can access your website another way. So to access your website, you go into your MyKW under Technology, KW Websites, and that will take you to your new KW website. If it does not say go to my website, you wanna make sure your at KW email is set up properly. And for those of you that have placed your sites outside of KW, um, you can um, set up your nesting and your, um, your uh, tabs on your website the same way. All right, not through KW, just sign into your placed your site. So we're gonna click here, KW, go to your website. And when you go to your website over here where it says edit site, you're gonna click there. Across the top again, site settings, pages we talked about yesterday, blog posts, we're gonna talk about blogging tips, agents, agents on your team are added here, testimonials are added here, and areas which are your community served. And then down here under site settings, we're gonna to come to menu, and that's where you do the nesting on your website. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So if we go over to my website, and the main page has these tabs across the top. And some of the tabs, when I roll over them, will have drop downs. Now when you are nesting, you want to have three or four maximum, and then have something that says see all of them. Because this site, if used on a mobile device, if it has too many nested tabs, it'll be very hard to use on a mobile device. So only do three or four on the nesting, and then at the bottom say read all and put that link there as well. So home values, I only have a few home value pages there. Listing search um, about us, you know, there's only a few things under each. Some of these, um, like for example, this month in real estate wraps around to the next line because it's it can't stretch out that far. All right, so you have to be careful with the names that you're picking. Let's go back to our site and look at the menu tab. So when you roll down and click over menu, this is where you have the menu options. And you can see some are nested under others. These that are on the left side are the main tabs. Those that are under are nested under that main tab. You can't have a third nesting. There's only the two nesting levels. Down at the bottom, it shows you all of the options, pages you've created, areas you've created, whatever you have, and that you can add this to the menu and then move it around. So let's say that I want to add um, where it says here, let me see here. See here the blog, I also have blog down here. When I click on it, this is the label, read all blogs. This blog just says blog. This down here, this second blog that's nested said read all blogs. So if I look at blogs, I have read all blogs, which is actually the same link as this, but just spelled out here, read all blogs. When you have nesting, a consumer might not know that the tab that's there is clickable. So you might want to repeat that tab, just like communities, see all communities is actually the same as this communities link. So when I'm coming over here to my site, let's say that I didn't have a, uh, where's the communities? Communities, local communities, communities. I have see all communities. And then the tool tip is the thing that shows up when you hover over. So under communities, if I hover over it, the tool tip shows up. See all communities in Central Florida. Lakewood Ranch says Lakewood Ranch, Sarasota says Sarasota, local communities, home value. So when you roll over, the tooltip shows up. And you can edit that here on your menu page by clicking and typing what you want it to say. So Sarasota, I could say view all listings in 
and it says Sarasota. And now if I save that, that's what shows up as the tooltip. All right, so let's go down to the bottom. We're going to add a menu option. Let's say I want area news to show up. I'm going to add that. Area news is something I've created, a page that I've created about the area. So uh, let's say that I want area news to show up under about us. So I am going to drag, I'm going to click on that area news. I roll over it and there's the dragging symbol. I'm going to click on it and drag it to where I want it. So if I want it nested under about us, I can either drop it right on top of about us or I can drop it anywhere in this nesting. Let's say I want it here. I'm going to put area news there and then I'm going to save it. Now remember you don't want to have too many things under each category because you want the menus to be uh, easy to use on um, mobile devices. All right, so that's how to do nesting. Um, on the main page, you really only want to have one line across the top. If possible, that makes it less confusing for people when they're on your site. They can roll over and see what's there. Um, and then you want to nest them properly so it makes logical sense on where to find things on your site. All right, good luck. We'll see you tomorrow.